fuck the Republican Party. And fuck their twin cousins, the libertarians as well. Because you know what has happened over the last 30 years ever since Reaganomics and far right wing economic ideology has been put into place. More power has been consolidated into the millionaires in the billionaires' hands. It is the right wing that does not want to keep government and corporations in check when they say, oh, money is speech. Well, let me tell you is that money is not speech. Money is influence. Campaign finance limits. Don't allow corporations to pollute the environment without limit. Repeal banking regulations that serve to prevent another crash. That was what happened when Trump rolled back Dodd-Frank. And let me pause here for a second. Is that ever since, ever since Citizens United, ever since a key 1979 Supreme Court decision that paved the way for money being speech and politics, ever since the 1980s when Ronald Reagan and trickle-down economics has been put into practice in this country, and we've seen marginal tax rates lowered to record low levels, American economic growth has never been slower today. Today, what you have is a system where the biggest third party is actually a front for big business, the libertarians, and you don't even have a real left-wing progressive party today. What the Democrats are today is a bunch of millionaires as well. Because there used to be a time where Congress used to not be a bunch of millionaires. That today, because Congress is full of millionaires, and you have record-breaking money in politics, then these millionaires and billionaires are advancing right-wing ideology and right-wing practices. And what the left-wing is today is a centrist party. Bill Clinton has made the Democratic Party lean center-right. Today's Democratic Party is a corporate Democratic Party. This is where the rigged two-party system comes into play. That because Ronald Reagan and the Republicans were demonizing the government in the 1980s, because they brainwashed the public so badly, the Democrats had to lean to the center and to the right. So any right-wing lunatic out there wants to say that, oh, the Democrats are communists, they're socialists. Uh, no, they're not. Today's Democratic Party has never leaned more to the right than it has in the past. Because when you have a Republican Congress, when you have a Republican Congress, life is much better for the wealthy and the millionaires and the billionaires and large multinational corporations, and you have your millionaire corporate Democrats that go along with it, retarded America thinks the Republicans are going to help that ever since the 1990s and Ronald Reagan in the 1980s, congressional control has never leaned more to the right wing than it has over the last 20 years. Who gave us the minimum wage act? Who gave us the New Deal? Who gave us subsidized housing for low-income people today? Who gave us earned income tax credits? It was not the Republicans. Every social program, Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security, that has helped working people began with Democrats. The most pro prosperous time in American history when the middle class was the biggest in history back during the 1960s and the 50s and early 70s. Congressional control was under democratic control and this came once again during a time that not everyone in Congress was a millionaire or a billionaire shill today. Big money and far-right trickle-down supply-side nonsense and shipping our jobs overseas was the reason why America has never had this much wealth and income inequality. And this is why America's overseas empire has never been this big as it's been in history. The Republican Party 
completely represents big business. The Democratic Party will pay lip service and corporate Democrats will suck up to their uh, corporate donors and, and all their stocks that these congressmen own. So you've got really wealthy Democrats like Schumer and Pelosi and Reid owning stocks in the rigged pharmaceutical industry, right? Big Pharma, get America hooked on opioids and, and throw them into the rigged private prison system. Go own stock in the defense industry if you're a corporate Democrat. This is where the corporate Democrats don't support Medicare for all. Don't support a single-payer system. Don't want to get America out of all these overseas entanglements. And they have these quasi-wars in Libya and whatnot, for instance, or Syria. The Republican Party wants to cut every social program out there. The Democrats don't want to cut every social program out there. The Democrats will suck up to the war on drugs and the pharmaceutical industries. I am documenting to you guys what makes the left wing center right today and what makes the Republicans far worse than Democrats ever are. The Trump administration wants to cut funds for, tw for, for people wanting to sign up for Obamacare. This hurts the very states that Donald Trump won. The states won by Trump actually have the highest Obamacare enrollment. And, and, and Trump already has cut Ford Expedition Obamacare has more second and third row legroom than Tahoe. It's predominantly in the red states. Meals for Reels program for elderly people Republicans want to cut. First president to cut taxes for the wealthy during wartime war was not a Democrat, it was George Bush. And George Bush sent America to a trillion dollar deficit. Today, 2018, the Republicans never balance the budget. The Republicans are worse for the debt because spending is the same, but then Republicans cut programs of working people to help finance tax cuts for the wealthy. This is why you are a complete sucker if you vote Republican. Because Trump told the wealthy that you all got a lot richer, but then the retarded Republicans told us that, oh, this, this tax cut is going to help working people. It's going to go trickle down. The door. It's going to pay for itself. Who had the richest cabinet in history after the president gave the billionaires the first tax cut during wartime American history? Donald Trump, Republican president. And then Senate Republicans hurt these old people that voted for Donald Trump. They want to put their sights on Medicare and Social Security. Give tax breaks for the wealthy and the powerful and cut social programs and say, oh, the debt is so high. We can't afford Medicare and Social Security. Bernie Sanders, the only independent in American politics today, the only real politician in America, sets the record straight on this. It is Jewish mysticism, gematria, Kabbalah, that tells you that the Republican Party is one big corporate party and that the opposition party today is not even a party for working people. It's a center-right party. What gematria reveals when you have the same gematric values is that they share a similar relationship. Fuck the Republican Party. You know why? Because fuck them. Because they're the billionaire party. If the billionaires had their way, every social program in America would be cut. There'd be no minimum wage. Big business would be rampant. That is the centerpiece of libertarian ideology. Libertarian ideology wants to concentrate economic power to the end to the top 1%. Libertarian ideology and the billionaire party advances the philosophy of the rich man. Is that the rich man is sociopathic, is want to make more and more and more money because his 10, 20, 50, 100 million is not enough. He's got to have billions and billions and billions of dollars. That is what right-wing economic ideology concentrates on. And this is a far-right idiocracy. When you support the billionaire party that wants to cut your Medicare and Social Security and wants to cut other social programs, subsidized housing, this makes the economy worse. 
When they don't have subsidized housing, when they do not have Medicare for all, people get kicked off their job, they get kicked off to the street, and they have no other way to turn to other than to commit crimes. The party of the rich supports profits over people. Again, the Democrats are in the pockets of corporate America. The Democrats are far better than any Republican or any Libertarian out there. The party of the rich, big business shills. They're advancing the right-wing economy. Have billionaires pay as little as possible. Democrats support taxes for the billionaires so we can fund our infrastructure, so we can have subsidized and affordable housing for working people out there. Libertarian economics is what advances the principle that more profits for corporate America is more important than the working people. Libertarian economics, libertarian ideology, the Libertarian Party is all a front for big business. All of this is going to be covered in the different video. Billionaire's Party, you guessed it. The party that advances the right-wing economic ideology of the wealthy and the powerful, the top 1% in the multinational corporations. Big business shills have all the regulations repealed so it helps big business. Republicans play a lip service to all regulations written in the Congress help big business. But they don't want to limit campaign finance spending. This is why Republicans and Libertarians are frauds. They are frauds. And corporate Democrats are frauds. The, billionaires part, the billionaire party that wants to repeal the minimum wage, abolish Social Security and Medicare is the Republican Party. If you're a working person and you're not making six, seven figures and you vote Republican, you are a fucking sucker. You are a fucking sucker that gets dist distracted with social issues. You know why the Republican Party supports social issues like guns and they get their religious nuts to support the party? They are all distractions. They are all distractions from the economy. And that is what pro-gun nonsense, this is what getting all scared about Muslims is all about. It's a distraction from real fucking shit that matters. Like your retirement and your health care and your wage at your job. Why Republicans get people hooked on social issues, it is because they are nothing but distractions. They are distractions to get you to not concentrate on your economic situation. This is what gay marriage, this is what guns, and this is what, this is what guns are all about. This is, this is what the religious right is all about is they are distractions from the economic issues that the left does want to press. So don't vote Republican. They are far worse than the Democrats under this rigged two-party system of millionaires and billionaires. Understand something. If the Democrats want to support the pharmaceutical companies and want to support the weapons industry, but they want to keep those social programs that the Republicans want to cut. They're better than Republicans. When Democrats want to run our deficit at billions instead, instead of trillions, they are helping America, and they're not allowing America to undergo inflation because we have to borrow from banks. When Democrats want banking regulations, this is better than having no banking regulations at all and having these banks sell derivatives to third parties. The Republican and far-right libertarian ideology is a bunch of ideological bullshit. The most prosperous time in American history occurred under Democratic Congresses and today with Republican Congresses and, and, and your center-right corporate Democrats like Barack Obama and Bill Clinton, you have a fucked up country that has never seen much higher levels of wealth and income inequality than you do today. So you got to bring America back during the golden age of the 50s, 60s, and 70s when we had democratic control. But for the democratic control to work again, we need money out of politics. You know the right wing and the libertarians are shills when they don't want to get money out of politics. But that's what the left wants. Repeal Citizens United. 
retarded Republicans don't want to limit campaign finance because they are shills for big business. So is the libertarians. Don't be a sucker and never ever vote Republican and libertarian again and demand the corporate Democrat billionaires to get money out of politics and to quit shipping the jobs overseas.